Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to perform calculations for matrices by using calculator. Firstly, let's enter all these matrices. Press on Move, and we need the matrix function, which is 6. We have matrix A, so select 1. And matrix A has 3 rows and 3 columns, so we should have 3 by 3 matrix, which is 1. Enter the values accordingly. 5 equal 8 equal 5 equal and so for the rest of the values 7 1 5 4 2 1 press on ac and proceed to matrix b to enter the second matrix and on first do not press on mode since for some calculators this would reset the matrices that we have entered previously the correct method is by pressing shift 4 select 1 to define matrix this time we need matrix b press on Two. And this is a 3 by 1 matrix. Select 3. Enter the values 3 equal 5 equal 5 equal. Again, press on AC. And now for matrix C, press on Shift 4, 1 to define matrix. Select 3 for matrix C. This is a 2 by 3 matrix. Select 4. Enter the values negative 1 equal 2 equal 2 equal. Negative 2, 4, negative 1. Press on AC. And we can now perform calculations. For part A, determine the determinant of matrix A. Press on Shift 4, we need determinant which is 7. Shift 4 again and select matrix A which is number 3. Press on equal and we should obtain the correct value. We should take note that in order to obtain the determinant, this matrix must be a square matrix. Which means that if we determine the determinant for any matrix that is not square matrix, for example, the matrix B. When we press on equal, we will obtain dimension error. Let's continue for the calculation. For part B, determine the transpose of matrix B. Press on Shift 4 and look for 8 for transpose. Shift 4 again and we need matrix B, which is 4. Press on equal and we should obtain the correct value. Next, for part C, to obtain the inverse, we have Shift 4. Choose the matrix directly, which is 3 for this case, and followed by the inverse button. Press on equal and we should obtain the correct value. In terms of decimal numbers, to have in the form of fractional numbers, press on the arrow button to move to the desired entry. Note that, same as part A, to obtain the inverse matrix, the particular matrix must be a square matrix. For part D, the matrix A multiply matrix B. Press on Shift 4, select matrix A, 3, times Shift 4, Select matrix B, 4. Press equal and we obtain the correct answer. Note that to ensure multiplication is possible, the number of columns of the first matrix must be exactly the same as the number of rows of the second matrix. Otherwise, we will obtain dimension error. For example, matrix A multiply matrix C. When we press on equal, obtain dimension error. For the last example of this video, matrix C multiply matrix A plus matrix C. We can calculate one by one. Firstly, we have matrix C. Shift 4, 5 to get matrix C. Multiply Shift 4, 3 to get matrix A. Press equal and we should obtain the calculations for the first term. And now press shift 4, look for the matrix answer which is 6 and we plus shift 4. The next term is matrix C. Select 5 and press equal and we should obtain the correct answer. Alternatively, we could also enter the entire expression. That is, we press on shift 4, we have matrix C, 5, multiply shift 4, matrix A, plus shift 4 5 for matrix C equal and we should obtain answer directly. Note that either for addition or subtraction, the involved matrices must be of the same dimensions. Otherwise, we will obtain dimension error. For example, if we take matrix B minus the matrix C, when we press on equal, dimension error is obtained. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.